Welcome to the Dow House. I'm Lena. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. This is my Dow House. You know, this morning when I woke up, my horoscope said, and I'm an Aries, uh, said, take good direction. Well, here we are. I've got like all of this and Shazam. Anyway, let's find out who our guest is going to be today. I'm going to consult the Magical 8 Ball. Magical 8 Ball, keep it cute and put it on mute. Who's going to be our guest today? Bethan Hardison. What? Oh my God, gorgeous, how are you? It is a pleasure and an honor and a gift to have you here. You guys, this is the original supermodel right here. Oh, Trailblazer, wow. activist, everyness. Mamala, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Better for seeing you. Thank you so much for having me. Speaking of, yeah, this so is glad. my hall of shame of supermodels down here. I need you. I need you in a box, but I got you here, so that's well, better. Well, the good news is that we weren't supermodels back when we were. No, hello. You were girls God. just doing it, honey. We were top models. Speaking of, okay, so exactly. <laughs> that's what they were here. Real model. The real model. The real model. Yeah. And then it went to top model with Naomi and the girls. <laughs> so, um, growing up in Brooklyn in the 60s, did you have a doll situation? And what was it yeah. like? Because it's so trendy there now. Oh my goodness, I was just saying that to my driver. Yeah. No, I I was in a gang. I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> Tomboy to the umpteen degree. True, I ran track. I ran track as a kid. Me too. Um, yeah, and I... I, you know, yeah, there was no dolls. I never even had, I don't think I ever had an even interest in dolls. Really? But at the, I was a latchkey kid, so right, at right. the same time, I basically did the, I think I, I, I think my interest really was really just hanging out. Right. Hello. I never had, we never had, I never attached myself to a doll. Well, awesome. And I was very interested in what was going on in Hollywood television right, and things right, like right. that. So after college, you were working in the garment district. You know what I, wind, I wind up doing? Uh, yeah, I went straight into getting a job. First, I honestly, I, I, my first job was <laughs> AT&T long distance telephone what? operator. Yeah, when I was a kid, one of nine years old and living in Bethesda <laughs> with my mother, I had a big thing with Seventeen Magazine and there was a, uh, a model, blonde as blonde, named Carol Lindley that yeah, I was just fixated yeah. with. And so I used to have, I have to get, oh, I have to get my Seventeen magazine. And my mother looking at me at nine, saying, "You're not even anywhere now." <laughs> yeah. So how was your introduction to being a model? I Me mean, being discovered by Willie Smith. I was working Amazing. in the garment district and a, as a, as a showroom sales mom, a sales rep, and I worked for. Um, Ruth Manchester. It was very yeah. interesting. I used to walk in the garment district and Willie Smith would see me and he had just begun to rise as a young designer. Right. He was amazing. He was amazing. And he, he thought I was a designer so he sent somebody asking people, do you know who that girl is? I see you all the time. I see you all the time. And then he sent someone with a note to ask me, could I meet with him? What? I met with him and he said, I just wanted to meet you because you have such style and and uh, and he thought I was a designer. I said, That's no, amazing. I work in a showroom. He said, wow, I wish you could rep work with me as my model. I love what? you. And so I went to my people who I work with, right. Ruth and, and Sylvia, and they said, we love you to do that. They just encouraged me. Genius. My Jewish family, God bless <laughs> And good food, they amen. They took care of me. They took care of me, yeah. They believed in me. Do you find that back then it was harder than it is now? And did you have anybody to look you know, up to? Interesting because, to I mean, you were that. one of the first. Yeah, I, I, you know, like there was, um, you know, there were people that you admired. But never like, never groupie for things. Right, you know? right. And back and then you just, and everything was so cool back then. You know, exactly. things were, you know, coming apart, coming apart, coming together. Totally, exactly. So it was like civil rights movement. That's you know, amazing. Everything happening when you- The you visuals get, that you've seen, it's just, it's everything. Yeah, so it was really a change. So what was it like hanging out with uh, Herring and all those guys? And oh, Weber. that was really, oh, that, <laughs> what a, you know what that a great moment times. in time. Yeah, it yes. really was. To, and to, no camera phones. Yeah, no. To, <laughs> and, and the idea that you basically don't have to have, you know, nobody was famous. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You exactly. know, you go. Everyone goes to Mr. Childs because That's we're right. all downtown. Speaking kids. of Mr. Childs, yeah. I have a really fun game. You want to play? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> Okay, ready? All right, so this is Asian Fortune Cookie Kiki. So. <laughs> oh, the slippery little hookers. Okay. <laughs> okay, so how this works is, you're going to pick a color. Okay. <laughs> what color? Oh, a uh, pink. Pink. Have you ever kissed a stranger? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Bam, your turn. Okay. Oh my God. Right. I can't do this. Yeah, okay, this. pick a color. Okay, um, let's do orange. Hello. Ever had more than one boyfriend at a time? Oh, oh good glamour. Do we have all day? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. And oh my God. <laughs> Here we all right, are. I got one more for you. Ready? Okay, okay pick a color, honey. <laughs> I'm going to go with green. Green. What, what's your favorite thing that you do by yourself? Oh. <laughs> don't we can go anywhere go with there. that. Don't even. <laughs> what a favorite. I honestly dance. Dance, that's beautiful. I love That's we should true. all dance to life. Yeah. Oh, it's time to pay the bills. <laughs> you asked me how I keep my skin tight and right for blood type. I use Rejuvenique. I simply put this scary mask on, turn the pulsation button, and then give it invigoration. You'll love it. <sighs> well, now that we paid the bills and we got to know each other a little bit better, <laughs> I have another fun game. You want to play? Yeah. Okay. I know, right? <laughs> Is my life. I pulled out a bunch of albums that mean a lot to me, so I'm gonna pass these over to you, okay? okay? And you're gonna pick six albums, okay, okay. that speak to you. Right. Hold on. Oh. So, um, you're gonna pick out six albums, and then I'm going to um, give you 30 seconds on the clock with this mask on, mm -hmm. and you've gotta try to give me clues, okay? okay? No way. Goodness, <laughs> this guy never stops wearing glasses, and he loves to play a piano. Oh, uh, Elton John. There you go. Isn't this fun? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun for me. It's helping me remember shit. Okay, it's, 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 uh, it's Chris and a, uh, and a blonde girl that he used to hang out with. She was a friend of the band. Oh, God. Uh... Five, five guys and a blonde girl. Five guys. Oh, uh, 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 Fleetwood Mac. No? Was that right? Next one. <laughs> Damn it. This girl, this singer used to be part of a three-girl singer, and then she became famous on her own, and she is from the what Motor, era? Motor City. Oh, oh, what era though? Oh, the 70s. 70s. Uh, she was with a group and she went solo. Yeah. Patti LaBelle? Nope. Um, Motor City. Oh, Motor City. Um, uh, Diana Ross. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and this is my friend. Oh my God. With a great voice. She passed away about two years ago. Whitney Houston? Mm -hmm. No. Passed away two, uh, about two years ago, and she was a real disco diva. Oh, Donna Summer. Mm, my oh, friend. my friend Scott loves her. <laughs> and then we had my little young girl who I used to represent as a model. Oh, Whitney Houston! Yay! Yay! Oh my God. That was so much fun! Oh my God, that's for my brain. Wow, girl, so you're you giving know, me the sweat box. <laughs> You know who you who it was that I was saying? Who? Who was it? Blondie. Oh. And I said she's a, she was a blonde girl. That was so oh, crazy. And look at there she is right there, Deborah Harry. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I tell you, that should be another game. Name a celebrity and I better have her here. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. All it. right, so let's get back to business. Okay. Do you still consider yourself an activist? I am an activist. Yeah, you are. I'm a yeah. revolutionary. Yeah, you are. I'm, sometimes I have to say activism, you know, um, you has to remain active. I, that's a statement of mine, yeah. and that's true. I sometimes, like, you get a little tired and you have to fall back yeah. a little bit, and you yeah. say, well, I'm just seeing how things are going. Exactly. But then, you know, you got to get back out. As soon as you see something really wrong, you get back out there and you Amen, start pushing sister. again. Yeah. That's beautiful. You've rep represented so many people. I mean, why is it that you only represent one person, Tyson Bedford? Only because I gave up my model agency. He was with me at the time as a model. I would have given him up too, but at the time, Ralph Lauren wanted to right. continue a Some deal. Beautiful we had. work they did. So what I, mean, I had to do was stick with him because they needed me in the deal. Right, right. So I got rid of the rest of the models and I went ahead and made the deal, continued deal with Ralph Lauren for Tyson. Amazing. So after that deal, then I had to just keep him because I didn't want anything to be spoiled. I didn't want anybody right. to ruin him. I didn't want. So I was just trying to take exactly. Him. So it's been 23 years. Oh, rock on, sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Long. Yeah. So tell me about uh, your documentary, Invisible Beauty. Oh, Invisible Beauty is wait. something that's um, it's now become more about me and the and the and the plight of this woman who has tried very tireless to change an industry that seems to be steadfast and just um, not being inclusive of right. of diversity. And that's the thing that we're trying. We are so blessed and honored to have you in our life and everything oh. that it is that you've done. And you know that you speak to so many that you are everyone's mother. I know. You know that as soon as we met, honey, it was like this. I know. And everybody's like, are you two related? I'm like, we are related. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because it is good that people 
regard you, and it means a lot to me because it says something about them. Yes, it does. It really does. Yeah. You are so good at this. Baby, thank you. I mean, you are my first, so I can't even think of anyone better. I'm blessed that you took the time to, well, actually, the eight ball brought you here. I'm glad that you didn't kick and sing, they taking me back to where you came eight from. Ball. I'm I telling you, I was resting in there. Poof. Poof. Yeah, what were you doing beforehand? I had no idea. I was minding my own man. I was in the kitchen. And then here I am. So you know how well, that I'm is. I'm happy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much, Angel. And to you. Thank you. Bless you. Oh. The best. You guys, this is the Dow House. I'm Lena and this is Beth Ann. Such blessings, I mean, honestly, made my whole effortness. Oh. We'll see you next time on the Dow House, you guys. What? What? <laughs>